What are we even doing here? Yes, the order from RainbowTomatoesGarden.com that I placed not four days ago has arrived. And uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna open it for you. It's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. Knifing around. Cut, 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 cut. Yeah. Okay. What are we looking at? Dan said this is like the most stuff that he could pack into this box, right? Yeah. Uh, first off, cool pin. Thanks, Dan. I didn't order that. And another little thing he said he was going to include was this thing that's like uh, they're magnetic buttons, so I can proudly display sardines on the wall. Now we get to the good part. Mm. Oh, cod liver. Uh huh. I can't read anything on here. It's okay. I don't even know where I'm gonna stack this stuff over here. And then. Oh yeah, kind of tub. This is our 2018s. Cool, cool. We know what this is. Salsa espinale. What do we got? Box. Yes. La Brujula number 31, Sardinias. Nuri Spiced. Spiced. Yeah, yeah, we like these. I think we might have like more of those, right? Let's see if we can pick out the next. No. Is this the other kind of top? No, these are, uh, these are Palestrinis. Okay. These are spiced. You notice when I can go spiced, I go spiced. This wildfish cannery? No, this is Econ smoked habanero oysters. Indeed. This is so much fun. And then this is wildfish cannery smoked herring. So, smoked herring. Rugen fish! Yeah, Rugen fish herring fillets. And horseradish sauce. You know, they just got the wackiest flavors, so we're gonna do one more. It's not Rugen fish. Who do I have? I've got some kind of mango. Um, it was like, who, who did the curry herring that I had? Was it Deutsch Kutch? I think that was it. Here's our uh, Fonks number two, Fonks. which is the regular ones. These are, these are the ones that don't have chamomile. Number one is chamomile. And um, this comes with some paraphernalia. How to pronounce Fox. Dan really just <laughs> goes all the way here. And um, also we get a little fortune that says this tin is ranked number 38 on the worldbestfish.com overall 101 list. I don't know who makes that list and how they make those determinations. I wouldn't want that kind of pressure myself. Oh man. If you're wondering if this is the company that was featured in one episode of the Bourdain show, it is. Espinale. Yeah. I just love these, huh? Just love this box. Can I just rip open this box? It's taped. Oh well. Should I have the espinolers and uh the espinale sauce? I don't know. That would be too easy, right? The other Panetab. And, ooh, baby. My Ramon Penas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some serving instructions here. This is, uh, what is this? This is the salary. I, I think I cut this part out of the video where I ordered it, you know? Because I think that I was kind of wishy-washy about it. And I went back and forth and I just thought, you know, 
whatever. Yeah, this is celery and soy sauce and sugar and other goodies, huh? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is also celery. Yeah, yeah, canned celery. Kabayaki style, sure. Mussels with sweet kombu and salsa brava. This is gonna be neat. This might be a little niche for a review, so I might just wind up just eating these, but I hate to just eat them in private. Maybe I'll eat these right now. I don't know, maybe. More spiced nuri, yeah. Tell me here. Oh, Al Shark, Moroccan sardines. Okay, so these go, these go set aside because I'm gonna do a Morocco episode at some point. Yeah. More polystrinis. The fish in this tin are loosely packed on purpose so that there's greater surface area exposed leading to better absorption of the oil slash sauce. I get it. Angelo Prati. Yeah, we see these a couple weeks ago. I really like them. Probably another one of these. Yeah, these are just plain olive oil. These ones I liked so much, I didn't even get all the spicy ones. So you got a little bit of the spicy, huh? I got one can here. And uh, I think another can of spicy. Yeah, yeah, so this is, this is just going in the cupboard. I'll eat these for lunch, whatever. Ooh, okay, I knew I had this coming. Uh, Olasa Gasti, yeah, 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 and um, this is uh, this is a Dean. This is a Dean Graham. Yeah. So you can do this. You can send a Dean Graham to somebody on the site, and Dan will hold the can and send it to that person when they make their their order. So it's kind of a fun thing. Deany Dean Deans sent this to me. Yeah. 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 So thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoy his reviews on the subreddit. Yeah. 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 How oh, nice, and I'm very pumped about these anchovies. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a review. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Deany Dean Deans. Oh, and here's, you know, I had ordered them just on my own, because I kind of knew, I kind of knew I wanted them, right? So, stunt can. Okay, we're kind of getting to the bottom here. Uritas, yeah, yeah, yeah. These kind of go with the labrujolas. I sort of, I sort of lump them together as sort of like small Spanish sardines. Service de Combados, small sardines. Again, in the same, same little pile. Ah, yes, flour. Rock and spice sardines. Did I expect them to be in a box? That's so great. This goes with the Al Sharks. Porthos! Just look at these handsome cans though, right? Yeah, yeah, look at them. These are spiced sardines in olive oil, sure. Sardines in hot, Vegetable oil, I don't know what that means. We're gonna find out. And then, um, wait, do these have, oh, they're printed on the bottom too. Forgot about that. And then this is the, this is the can that I, I tried before, okay? And I was like, oh, these are too scaly. More Porthos? No. Oh, Belvedere cod liver. Oh, that means this wasn't cod liver at all. I'm an idiot. This is not cod liver. This is the smelt. Yeah, yeah, duh. Okay, I just get, I get confused. And the last one. Oh, 
Bon appetit. Yep, yep. Hot olive oil. This is just uh, something I heard about, right? And um, I jumped on it. Okay, let's uh, let's eat something. Guess what? I'm gonna eat these mussels. I'm not even gonna need the espinola. So these titanium chopsticks, they actually come in a little carrying case. I don't know if anybody's ever seen this before. Yeah. All right. Mussels with sweet kombu and salsa brava. This is by the brand Porto Muñoz Seaweed. So how do you eat it as a tapa at room temperature? That's very helpful. Pairing red vermouths fortified or fragrant wines, toasted beers. I don't know, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna have it with the beer that we have. Ingredients, mussels, EVO, onion, tomato, crushed tomato, sweet kombu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mollusks are involved. So pumped. I haven't, I didn't tell you guys, but sort of off camera, I have really gotten into mussels lately. I got I got into some scout mussels that were great. Uh, what else did I have? I got some Patagonia mussels that were great. Really into them now. I think it was the scout guy. I, I had chatted with the guy from Scout and he was like, yeah, I'm really into mussels these days. And uh, I was like, you know what? I wanna get into that party. Look at these beauties. Look at this, look at this red oil. Pretty mussels. Look at them. Hmm? Another fish conquers. Cowabunga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sauce they're in, delicious. Not too tomatoey. I think that's uh, that's the number one thing I'm afraid of. You know, the kombu aspect of it is not really like whoa. You know, seaweed. I think it's just you just get more of that um, umami essence of the sea, right? Little tomato in there. Son of a gun. Hmm. Hmm. Well, thank you guys for watching me unbox this uh, this box of fish. You know, I enjoyed ordering them, and hmm. Um, hmm. God, I just cruised through these. Shoot. I hope these weren't too expensive. Oh, dynamite. Son of a gun. Oh, here's a little pieces of kombu down here. Right? Right. Oh, yeah, I gotta eat these up. Oh, yeah, delish. Hmm. Huh. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.